organizing tasks. Your project could have dozens, if not hundreds of tasks. It's easy to go through those tasks and list them in Gantt chart view. However, when a task list gets long, managing the task during the duration of the project could get very daunting. Taking the time to organize your tasks will make managing them easier and improve the efficiency of your team while working on the project. In this lesson, we are going to discover how to organize tasks in Project 2016. It makes it easier to organize tasks if you have the right mindset regarding them. It helps if you think of your task list as an outline with main tasks, then subtasks that fall under the main task, and so on. In an outline for a report, for example, you have an organizational structure that breaks down larger sections of the report down into smaller sections until you've listed everything that you want to include. As we go through this lesson and you perhaps start to organize your tasks in project, keep the outline in mind. Pick out tasks, then subtasks, and so on. Not only will you organize your tasks, you'll structure your project. The summary task is the captain of the ship, so to speak. It is a task that all of your other tasks will fall under. Just like its name, it summarizes all the tasks that will be done. More often than not, it is also the title of the project and all other tasks will be born from it. A summary task does not have any work assigned to it. This is because its sole function is to summarize other tasks. To create a summary task, click to select a cell in the task name column. Typically, this will be the very first cell under the task name since summary tasks are above other tasks. If you already have a task listed first and want to insert a summary task above it, that's okay too. Just click to select the task that you want to place below the summary task. Next, go to the task tab and then click the summary button in the insert group. As you can see, Project 2016 inserts the summary task. Click inside the cell to name the summary. Summary tasks have a little triangle to the left of them, as you can see here. This arrow allows you to collapse the outline so you only see the summary tasks and not all other tasks. Below the summary task, you have your first parent task. Next will come subtasks. Subtasks are tasks that are directly related to a parent task. If a parent task is to paint a wall, a subtask would be to tape before painting. We do not have subtasks yet. However, we are going to add a few subtasks for the research task in our project now. Let's add in some sample tasks here. To insert a task, click on the task below where you want to insert the new task. Right click, then select Insert Task from the context menu. Let's enter a few tasks now. As you can see, we've added a few tasks. At the moment, we can't tell they're subtasks by simply looking at the task list. These two tasks actually fall under research because they're subtasks and they relate to research. This will be a problem as we start to assign tasks and the project progresses. To fix this problem, we can indent and outdent tasks to organize parent tasks and subtasks. Let's indent the first subtask, review what's new in project 2016. To indent a task, click the task to select it, then go to the task tab. Click the outdent task button to outdent a task or move it to the left. Click the indent task button to indent a task or move it to the right. Since we're dealing with subtasks, we want to indent. So click the indent task button here. We can now clearly see that it's a subtask. Now we can do the same for this next task, discover needs no features in 2016. You can see that our summary task is highlighted at the top here, then we have our parent task, then we have our two subtasks. Most projects will not go according to plan. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but when it happens, you need to know how to adjust your plan as well as the information you have recorded in project. This may mean that you need to move some tasks around. 
If you need to move a task further up or lower down on your outline, use the click and drag method and follow these steps. First, go to the Gantt chart view. Then, select the task that you want to move by clicking on its ID number, which is 1, 2, 3 and so on in the left column here. Click and release. Do not hold the mouse button down. Now, click on the dark border around the task row. You know you're on the right spot when you go to hover your mouse and it shows this arrow underneath your pointer. Click on the dark border around the task row. Hold the left mouse button down and drag the task to where you want it. A grey line will appear that shows the new task position. Then let go of your mouse to move the task. The WBS code, or Work Breakdown Structure Code, is simply a code that is applied to your outline of tasks that makes different elements of your project easier to identify. These codes are automatically generated for you so that each task has a unique identity that is based on the order that it appears in your project. Here's an example. The second task in a second phase of a project has the WBS code 1.2.2. This means that the task belongs to the first phase, all tasks do, is in the second phase and is the second task. To view the WBS codes in your project, go to the Gantt chart view. Go to the Add New Column column on the right here. If you don't see it, you can hover your mouse over this grey border here, click the mouse and then drag it out to the right. Then look in the drop down menu. Select WBS. You can see the WBS code in the column here. In addition to adding tasks and organising them, you can also insert another project into your project. This is helpful if your project is dependent on work being done on another project. For example, let's say the course on project management had to be written before we began writing this course on Project 2016. We could insert that project into our Project 2016 course. The project will appear as a task with its tasks appearing as subtasks. To insert a subproject, click on the subproject button under the project tab. Then select your file and click on insert.